Lions TV! <laughs> Saturday afternoon, I'm on the beach, uh, life's good, not expecting any transfer news in, and I check my phone through squinted eyes quickly with a beaming heat, and Mill have agreed to sign Kevin Nisbet from Hibbs. Richard Cowley broke the news first, soon followed by the club's confirmation of that. Kevin Nisbet signs... Well, he hasn't signed yet. He'll sign once the transfer window is open in a week's time. But he has agreed to join the Lions on a long-term deal. The 26-year-old comes to South East London. Uh, originally, it was said from the Daily Herald it was £2 million. I think the South London Press went with it's actually closer to £1 million with add-ons. And those add-ons, I expect to be, you know, if he gets X amount of games in, we'll give you this much. If we get... X amount of goals out of him, we'll give you this much on top, and that will probably accumulate to around the two million pound figure. So as it stands, as far as I know, Zian Fleming is still the club's record transfer fee. Millwall have had a good bit of business here because let's wind it right back in January. Kevin Nisbet came down to London, spent two days, didn't sign for the club, went back and at points said it wasn't the right time for him, for his representatives. There was rumours, of course, as I've spoken about last week in the video, that there was rumours that he failed a medical a couple of times. And now with his contract ticking down at Hibs to only a year, the Lions have gone back in on a lesser offer with add-ons if the injury, I believe, doesn't play up again. That's what I've read into the situation. I could be completely wrong. Nisbet has come out on his social media, on his Instagram, and said... Uh, big thanks to the club, looking forward to playing in front of the fans. And also a big thanks to my, my agent, who always assured me that this move eventually would happen. So maybe that rumour of a failed medical is true. Now, obviously, of course, I sincerely hope not. But also, if not, or as well as, I think you can tie into that, that he felt that he'd come back from a long-term injury. Of course, he'd done his ACL and he'd missed a long time. He's played into as well as... There's, there's something between, he's, he didn't get off on the best foot with the Hibs fans, and he felt he wanted to repay them um, in some way, and he has done that. He's think he scored 13 goals in 20 appearances since returning from his ACL in January. So, fingers crossed, so far, there is absolutely no signs that that ACL is affecting his career going forward. And it's been a brilliant goal-scoring career. We don't often have and sign, we, we do have them, but we don't sign Brilliant goal scorers, and he definitely, definitely is an emphatic goal scorer. Yes, it's in Scotland, and I know you're probably all saying that on the screen, and I saw a Hibs fan say, what are you talking about? We're, we're better than you. Unfortunately, no, you're not. We know that the Scottish League is Rangers and Celtic, and Rangers and Celtic would do probably top 10, maybe, to 12th in the Premier League, in my opinion. Could be wrong. Again, let me know. But, yeah, Hibs, not up to our standard of football, but he scored a lot and lots of goals. So... Hopefully now he can transform that south of the border. Let's actually look at his goal scoring records. It is really, really good. So there it is. The 26-year-old Glaswegian has scored 39 goals in 101 matches for Hibernian. He was highly prolific at both Rafe, 34 goals in 46 games. And Dunfermline, 23 goals in 32 outings. That's not exactly correct. I know this is Wikipedia page. A lot of people always say that on my videos. Don't look at Wikipedia, but whether that's accurate or slightly off... You can see there that the man has goals in him and he's been raring to go in SE16. Um, great signing for us. Two strikers now. I did see an article. My mate sent me an article yesterday saying Millwall are now going to call their interest in Lyndon Dykes. Now they've got Nisbet. I'd still like to see Dykes come in. Why not? Let's have two, three fantastic strikers at the club that can score goals at this level and which could push us to the next level. Of course... He is currently in the Scotland squad, Kevin Nisbet. They're currently top of Group A, Scotland. And he will be in partnership, potentially, up front with, there you go, Lyndon Dykes. So he could potentially be partnering our new record signing. You can get a good look at him next weekend when he plays against Norway for Scotland in the Euro qualifiers. Yeah, look, really good business early. Have we ever, ever signed a player? That early? No, I don't think we have. Again, look, he hasn't officially signed yet, but it is still done. It's posted all over the, the club's website. Um, and a 26-year-old. I know you say these things when you sign for a club, but judging by what he said, it's almost like a dream move for Nisbet. And he'll want to come to South London and be, you know, the next Zion Fleming, if you will. He'll want to come in and he'll want to play at this level, but he'll want to prove himself and then potentially, you know, go on to another level. I think he's that type of player and he's, he's, he's coming good at this point. It's a brilliant 
brilliant time to sign him. He's not 27 until next March. And I'm really, really excited to see what he does in SE16. Will people be following him through the door? Let's hope so, starting from next week. Um, I will take the cameras with me anywhere I go now. I wasn't expecting it yesterday. I do usually carry my rucksack with a laptop and a camera in case needs be. And yesterday, um, it didn't happen. Also, I've got the suntan lotion. And that's why I currently look like Rodney Trotter from the Only Fools and Horses episode T for free. But look, enjoy your week. The sun's going to be beaming all week. And the sun is currently shining over SE16 as well. Hopefully, I'll be back for more videos. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.